Yagyu fits the type of mold that I'm usually not the biggest fan of. That being servants with a lot of one turn buffs that aren't going to function so well in more sustained fights. Boss fight, DQ, you name it. Servants like Yagyu cannot be used just because at that point, you could be using any other servant and you would be having more damage because that servant's buff lasts more than one turn. Yagyu probably got one of the best ends of the stick for this type of servant where he got a MP buff that not only turns him from only being useful in raids where there are no break bars to being an actual solid boss killer because he, a, he got a utility buff and then ramp up along with the fact that an NP upgrade so he just does more damage in general and then he'll do more damage every single time and honestly because of that ramp up it does kind of shift how you use him uh, in comparison to before so let's get started base attack this is 10,000 is one away and you literally can't even increase attack by one and the lowest you can go is 10. so in my eyes this is 10,000. Uh, i'm not i'm not gonna set accept anything else hp lower to compensate but his attack is so high it, like you understand it like this is a clear case of hp being lowered to make attack higher and i'm fine with that uh, a unit like yagyu that's what he needs he needs his attack to be like as close to a five star as it possibly can get. All right, Sergeant, these are normal saber numbers. MP charge is super healthy for him at 0.81. Yes, he only has two hits on the arts card, but I've seen how these work, and he's yeah, one arts crit gets you more than your entire MP back. Fun that that honestly is like really any art servant that has this refund would come similar it's just that he's also arts so his mp and then just all the arts buff he's getting so the deck isn't super amazing but like i've seen what his gains look like in like a practical scenario and it's like as long as you're able to get back your mp in one arts card like i don't I can't really be talking like we don't talk about this for buster units that have the same gain because they don't have arch buffs. Their gain is just going to be what they have. First skill, 50% arts for one turn, star weight for arts cards for one turn, and debuff resistance 100% for one turn. If... Before, if you had to use him in a three-turn setup, and this is for boss fight again i'm not talking farming ideally you would probably you'd be in a weird situation with this honestly because this is a very very strong defensive skill depending on what boss you're fighting like if you are if you are going to be stunned when you get break barred this is gonna make sure he does not get stunned unless it's like a 500 percent chance this is gonna like help negate like the worst kind of shit that comes from break bars like stun skill seal uh and anything or like massive debuffs that are just gonna stop you from doing damage this skill is gonna stop that along with give him like enough refund to guarantee the loop back to his mp now i'm not saying if you don't have an art if you will be able to fully loop his mp back from just this that's not what i'm saying at all but it does mean that if you have an arts card that follows NP, there's a sizable chance he'll go from like 30% to like close to 200 if all of his skill buffs, because guaranteed to crit along with a mana burst. And because he just MP'd, this is 70% arts up uh, from himself, because we'll get to that later. But that's a lot of art. And again art servant pastoria so mp gain will come with it along with his own mp gain if you decide to pop this on turn one again there's a lot there's a lot of um theoretical stuff i have to spit out because it's not often we get bosses that we can actually use single target of them repeatedly like thank god for super recollections 
because like all of these boss killers are actually getting a time to shine they actually have something you can keep throwing yourself against the wall for and really hope the super rock collection has become permanent because then yagyu like you can use him more all of the lost wealth and stuff all right let's keep moving on uh less about my hopes for the game in the future all right so this got buffed a while ago it used to just be a dodge and 20 percent attack it's still 20 percent attack but they gave him a hundred percent for damage for a turn along with reducing the cooldown uh you're gonna like okay so yagyu has like really 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 short cooldowns so again arts unit Using with Tomo, if you want like consistently good uptime with this, I'm talking like uh, these skills will be down for like up for one, down for like three, maybe uh, maybe two. Like, if you can get your cooldown popping like good enough, you're never gonna be able to double pop this without bitch, but you will have better uptime on it. And a unit like this that has a lot of one time buffs. He doesn't want to double stack it. That's way too much work, but he'd want to have it at least every other turn. So yeah, this skill, again, it's all one turn offense. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it works for him. His arts crit is going to hurt like fucking hell. And if you do this in a mighty chain, uh, I'm, I'm gonna be honest like doing a mighty chain with him is the, the worst the worst use of of yagyu like it, it mighty chain is literally you do not have another arts card if you have like if you have the option of doing a mighty chain or doing buster arts bu buster mp arts do buster mp arts third skill 50 percent attack down on one enemy and increases mp gen by 50 percent for one turn this i feel could be used if on the first turn when his mp is at his weakest when you have the least amount of arts box you'll take less damage so you, uh, you don't have to worry about healing nearly as much uh but you do want the enemy to attack you because that's just free refund and yeah, art script go burr. Art script will just go burr. MP will go burr. He's not gonna be looping his MP like Dio Scurry, um, Trunk Sisters, or Saito, but if he gets his art script, his art card is probably. Mm, no, I, I don't wanna talk my ass about that. Passive skills, mag magic resist C for 15% debuff resist and riding B, 8% quick up. So already talked about it, but skill reloading gonna be nice for him. Uh, anti saber is whatever, it's lore accurate, but uh, uh, are you actively choosing to bring Yagyu to fight a saber? Because there are cases for that when they make sabers like super effective against sabers, but that's so rare. That's like event. That's a event five head strats. Uh, so in general, three or five, two, just because art servant, it's, it will just be easier for him to run like black rail if he starts from not zero, and then extra attack. There's a lot of use for this because, like I said, like Buster or MP Arts. Uh, like he's not super selfless. Like he does. Like you can see it in his skills. He wants to be clicking his Arts card after his MP. He wants to be doing that. He doesn't want to be doing MP Castoria Arts, Tomo Arts, and keep doing that. That's not. That's not the type of. Um, Spammer he is. That's Trunk. That's how Trunk Sisters work. Or Dio Trunk Sisters. That's how Trunk Sisters work. Not Dio Uh, <laughs> Yagyu. So he could actually get something out of this extra attack. High base gain, somewhat decent star gen, good attack. It just sucks that this is a four hit. So if you do get uh, extra attack finesse, 
it's cleaning up a problem because it's only four hits over making this like really really good it's gonna hit for a lot of damage but it's not gonna be like super amazing uh gonna change everything now let's talk about this mp buff had no normal effects and just reduces reduce the enemy attack by 20 percent for three turns so this did have ramp up and you just suppressed the enemy fire so much that they just couldn't do damage now really interesting to note about like this scaling and how it would work with yagyu and like why you definitely would not be popping this in turn three even turn two it's a little excessive so again we're talking about his refund oh right sorry let's actually go over the buff uh before i talk about like his interactions so in ignore his invincibility for one turn damage to one enemy archer is down 20 percent for three turns uh this is after damage is what it is but you can see from this damage chart that's not He's not hurting that much from it. His base MP damage now is on par with these five stars that do not have MP buffs. That to me is a little wild. But also have to remember, this is with a one, this is with two one turn buffs, an arc, a mana burst and 20% attack. His MP damage is gonna fall off a cliff because of the lack uh losing the attack it, outside of him having other buffs like this is strictly talking about him without uh like castoria and anyone else his mp damage will fall down but then it will rise back up partially he's not going to get the attack back up but his loss of 50 percent attack uh arts up is going to go to 30. And then the next mp again is going to go from 30 loss to 10 loss which to me is why you saved uh skill one and two for at least the second break bar or the third because that loss in damage like there's no going back up to it you have like you come close to it but you never hit that high so if you can start low and then save your mana burst for wave three that's probably best idea so yeah even with this buffed mp consider his mp damage closer to saito's although even saito has some uh hit uh hit based damage scaling like he, he loses his attack buff uh if he attacks too many times like if he uses a fake card in between his first mp and the third one he's not gonna have the attack buff luckily his attack buff isn't that impactful for him like he at least still has his arts buff it's not like he loses all his steroids uh once that attack buff goes but yeah you're gonna he's gonna be supported most of the time so the fall off isn't gonna be that big but it's still a fall off in damage so a little thing about this interaction and like having yagyu above mp1 this skill knocks attack down by 50 percent if you are able to consistently pop uh get to oc2 you're applying 30 percent attack down and remember debuffs go away at the end of the enemy turn so if you're able to consistently loop his mp to getting to oc3 on that third mp like and if you can keep suppressing fire the enemy is only gonna have 10 percent attack he's gonna like they're gonna be so heavily debuffed they're not doing damage to you and thus like most of the survivability for arts kind of i'm not gonna say it doesn't matter but it matters less because the end like this one enemy literally cannot do damage to you like attack down in rpgs it's it's definitely slept on like you don't notice it when it's only like 10 but once it goes down like below 50 you really really start to notice like attack down 
and if you have 100 percent attack down you don't do damage you need buffs to like mitigate that uh if you've ever done the neza super recollection that's why that boss fight is so fucking hard because you're starting off with 70 percent attack down if you're not doing any kind of attack buffs your damage is so shit for that super recollection it's the reason Aris is like the one of the best servants for that because like arts plus uh her having uh super effective on the mp lets her like punch past the massive attack down that, that um servants normally have to fight off so again like this makes him work in a boss fight so much more like he always had the attack down being three turns but like the problem was like him doing enough damage to break R and also loop back the MP. Now, neither of those issues is going to be like nearly as hard. That's not fun, but not. No, this is 36 proofs per skill and then 20 per void dust. I'm, I'm not happy about that. I'm not going to pretend I am. Um, but yeah, this is Yagyu uh he is definitely not no matter what like this buff is not gonna overtake what i have for him uh i haven't released uh hold up i have this updated yet uh one second Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.